there are some things in life that seem to go together, like eggs and bacon and beans. You can't imagine one without considering the other, like hip-hop and low slug jeans. Then there are the opposites that should never attract, like mushroom clouds in the sky. This is a story of two such things. Here's a clue, two words, poo and I. The poo is mine, as was the I. How they met, I promise, soon will be revealed. I'm no exception when I say that in every single way. Blue in the eye is never something that's appealed. With it luck, with it fate, does God bring me with hate? There seem no answers to my question why. On this cloudy day, luck looked the other way, and I got a bit of blue in my eye. It was a Glastonbury festival on a Thursday afternoon. I was standing with Ben, my mate. We were watching England versus Portugal in the European Cup. I needed a wee, but I thought I could wait. Amongst 50,000 others, we stood and cheered, watching huge screens by the main stage. The emotions ran dry, we drank the side of us dry. From minute to minute, we swung from joy to rage. And about half an hour in, amongst the furious din, Ben turned to me and asked, You all right, Chris? It was then I confessed that as the game progressed, I was desperately needed to piss. Well, go then, Ben said, and I should have listened to Fred, but I said, Nah, it's cool, I went to half time. I know what I'll do, I, I think I know where there's a loop. Ten minutes left, but it's, I'll be fine. But as much tension grew, so too did my bladder. I drew on all my reserves and willpower. In containing the strain, I began to feel pain. Every minute seemed to last about an hour. This is stupid, I thought. I'm gonna get caught short. I said, Ben, it's no good. I need a loo. I worked my way amongst the crowd, shouting out loud, Body back, small bladder, coming through. I took a left at the gate, expecting to find my urinal saviour. I was alarmed to see it wasn't where I thought it should be, and I began to exhibit some slightly strange behaviour. Whilst twitching and jerking, I asked a Julian in a murky, Excuse me, mate, do you know where there's a jaw? He pointed, I ran. This wasn't in the plan. Turning green, it was like a dude to hold on. When I finally found the news, I thought my story would end in a beautiful flood of relief. But instead, my head sent a message elsewhere, which I received in panic, shock, and disbelief. But as we all know, when we's ready to flow, number one can easily become two. Yes, after all this clenching, it was like my brain just mentioned to my bowels, they might like to relax too. I'm thinking, oh my god, this is very, very bad. I'm talking seconds to seconds to go. I was only prepared for a week, now I'm scared. If I can make this, I, I just don't know. I nearly tore up the door of the nearest port to do as I scrambled, sweating inside. The impossible hell at the bottom of this well, yawning at me like a shitty mouth open wide. Scrambling, fumbling, no time to prep the seat. I climbed it up and adopted the squat position. No sooner was I there than with an undignified air, my body emptied of its own volition. And attention preceded this shower had such incredible power that I pooped with a force unprecedented. Everything departed, I cried and farted, but what happened next was to render me quite demented. Picture it. Oh! <laughs> I knew in the paste, in the cesspit of waste, that I glimpsed beneath my trembling thigh, and the velocity of the plop sent a solitary drop on the rebound into the corner of my eye! Sight. Terrified I might just lose my vision. 
Too embarrassed to tell my mate I got in a dreadful state Mentally replaying the poo drop and its precision I had a smoke to calm me down but all it did was make me frown And paranoia just added to my condition But as the sun rose next day I felt the panic fade away And release myself from my morbid disposition I live to tell the tale, my vision is fine And not a word of this is anywhere near a lie So keep your eggs with your bacon and your fish with your chips But I don't recommend poo in the eye Take it away! Sometimes go by the name of Ben Chilling Risk, very pleased to meet you. That's the sort of thing I like to share with a room full of strangers. It makes us feel a little bit closer, you know. Break through those barriers, bring everyone in, back in to the deep doo doo that is Tung Fu Fu. Are you ready for a little more? <laughs> <laughs> 